What is the definition of electron volt? Okay, I I wrote. Uh, one I don't think I'll give you the two marks for that, sorry. Let me give... One? No, zero. Sorry. Why? I'm sorry. Here. So basically, it's the energy an electron has when you put it between one volt. So if this here is one volt, and your electron is here, uh, the energy it has is one electron volt. Got it? You wrote this down? Did you write all of this down? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have this on this? Yeah. Okay. Which energy level is the electron most likely to be found? I think you know the answer to Louise, what is it? Yeah. State the minimum amount of energy to ionize the electron. Answer? Yeah, 13.58 electron volts, which is what, Ibrahim? Joules. If the electron moves from 4 to 1, what's the wavelength of the light? So we first need to calculate the E here it would be minus 13.58 minus minus 0 0.85 what's that? minus 12.17 12 electron volts what's that in joules? <laughs> what? don't you have it in joules? what does it do? Yeah. No, that means the energy of the light photon equals HF, which equals 2.04 times 10 to the minus 18. <coughs> you got that? No? So this can give me the F. What did you get here? 10 to the 15. Yeah. F. So then the wavelength is C over F. What's this? Eight. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, we'll go to the B part now. Yeah. Okay. This you have this, Louise? Yeah. Okay. B part.
part one. So you have a metal surface and its work function is 2.3 electron volts. And there's light here of 489 nanometers. What is the kinetic energy of the released electron? So you have here HF equals um, work function plus kinetic energy. Uh, the F is actually C over lambda. So the kinetic energy is HC over lambda minus work function. I don't know, whatever this is on your calculator. Did you get an answer here? Yes. Allow me. I'll double check. I trust you. C0, huh? Did you get this? Yes. Good, good. Mm, yeah, okay. What else? Okay, what would happen if you increase the intensity? Wow. Mm hmm. The energy is decided by the frequency. If you have more light, it doesn't give it more energy because it's a frequency. So in fact, the answer is nothing. Yep. Yeah, more electrons, but not more energy. The electrons there is more released. But they don't have more kinetic energy. Yes. Okay. What is the threshold frequency? Minimum. Hmm? Mm hmm And I think they want you to calculate it. So what's the formula for it? Yeah, it's HF equals work function. So it's um, work function over H. Yeah? Um, now we know the work function, what is it? 2.3. Um, yeah, let's calculate this. I tell you what I have. I have five point five six times ten to the fourteen hertz. What do you have? Good job then. What is the momentum? 
So first we need to work out the velocity, but we actually know the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of the electron is 3.77 times 10 to the minus 20 joules. That means a half mv squared equals 3.77 times 10 to the minus 20 joules. Mass of electron is number three. So this means that the V I can calculate is this. The momentum equals MV, which is, you know, the mass of the electron by V. So if I just multiply this by mass of electron, I get this answer. Okay, did you get that one? Yes. You all got that? Or maybe not? Uh, yeah, close enough. Louise? No? Uh oh. Okay, last part is the wavelength. So, what form do I need here? Yeah. So here, Two point five three nanometers is what I got. Did you get something similar? Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are up. Yeah. What year was this? Twenty twelve, huh? Mm -hmm. Two and six. Page forty four, please. Yeah.